I, I'm Mr. M, and I'm going to show you how I attach my um, Challenger night vision unit at the top of my Air Arms S14 carbine gun. This is the uh, Gen 1 Plus Challenger night vision unit. This is the DSA or day scope adapter, and this is the L808 um, infrared laser illuminator. This is the, uh, the sleeve in the day scope adapter. Um, you get various sizes with the kit uh, to let you know. You can just change it over, pick out the most suitable one for your, uh, your eyepiece on your scope. I've put a little bit of tape around mine just to protect it and also just to uh, feel like it's a bit of security as you put it into position. It's nice and tight and then all you do is you put one screw just like that. Yeah, presto, one night vision fitted. With the device fitted to the weapon, um, there's only a few controls um, that you have to uh, use. Basically, this is the, uh, your main rotary switch for the, uh, the power. Um, it's a two-stage switch, the first one being the power on, the second one being uh, the activation of the onboard infrared illuminator. The second control um, is just basically uh, the laser control, which is just a simple push button, as you'll see that uh, basically activates the unit um, and there's a little LED light at the back that lights up to tell you um, that you've got the unit under power and then there's also the variable um, power unit on top um, which is just a rotary wheel um, which can, can be adjusted during operation obviously turn it off, out goes the light the um, Pulsar Challenger itself um, is a Gen 1 um, and it takes one CR123 battery um, and it's been stated on the internet that it'll give about 20 hours running time. The L808 laser takes two AA size batteries. Um, it's stated that it has a range of about 400 metres, but obviously I've not even been able to try that yet. Um, and it takes um, well, a running time of about six hours. So, Easily enough on, on, on one set of batteries for a good night shooting.